Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just kick him out. But yeah, I'll tell you one thing. It's very hard sleeping next to lawnmower. Absolutely, I agree with you completely. From personal point, my parents been sleeping in separate bedrooms for decades because my dad is sleeping like a lawnmower. Okay? But after we fix him up a little bit, he stops snoring and snores much less if he does. Okay? But he wasn't CPAP. If he snores, wake him up. He needs to. And if it's really the problem, he needs to address it. All snorers have high blood pressure issues. Because heart, imagine this. It stopped, there's not enough oxygen. And then heart really needs to work really, really fast because they wake up with heart is like this. When they wake up, heart is like this. Because, I mean, it's strong palpitations. Heart trying to catch up with oxygen because brain, brain, uh, brain says it that way. I need oxygen or we'll die. So it's, instead of getting proper rest and regeneration, body's getting tired, more tired, weak, exhausted, and then death. So if somebody is snorer, kick them, punch them, shove them, bring them to professional. So he's light sleeper, you're trying to tell me. Yeah. Let me ask you two questions. Question number one, about your husband. Number one, is he overweight, in your opinion? Yeah, so he has stomach. He works out every day, wonderful. He eats a lot of junk. So he eats junk, so we can make, it's an assumption, I don't like to make assumptions, but kind of goes that way. His gut is inflamed, number one. His liver is toxic, number two. And probably his sugar stabilization is off the whack. All right? So he doesn't have vitamins and minerals to stabilize his anything. So what are we going to do with him if we're going to treat him? We're going to take belt and just spank him. <laughs> and we're going to teach him how to eat properly. For that, just... You can cuff him to a bed, turn on the TV, and let him watch the food DVD. Teach him how to do it. And I think you've been in my food lecture, were you? I think it's pretty entertaining, okay? So all my lectures are reasonably entertaining. So you can teach him that there is other means and other ideas how to eat a lot but healthy way and never be hungry, okay? Hydrate him, feed him well. After that, there are certain things need to be done. And if his gut is really inflamed, he, he needs to take something for inflamed gut. Also ask him a question, no, ask yourself a question. Why he likes to eat junk? Is that emotional um, thing, which he actually, not necessarily he trained that way, maybe he's trying to emotionally eat junk to self-destruct something, okay? Because maybe he wants to be healthy, but he stops himself. Maybe he is what we call switched. We need to unswitch him. Remember emotional lecture? Yeses are no. Noes are yeses. On vibrational lecture, I showed it, called psychological reversal. He wants to do yes, but his subconscious tells him no. He wants to say no, but his subconscious tells him yes. Again, some spanking is involved. Okay? It's not a very complicated thing to fix. But if you fix that, usually people pick it up like this and change their lives. Okay? And I showed you how fast it can happen. Because you've seen in my lectures that professionals like us, we can do dramatic difference really quick. And sometimes what uh, me, Ron, um, Dr. Durum, Dr. the whole my, my guys, I mean, all of us, we're strong believers in permanent correction. I don't want to see patients every day for like two years. God, no. I'm not one of those kind of practice. Oh, sign in for uh, what is it? a maintenance plan. Three times a week for a year, I'll give you 20% discount. I'll work on you. Or I'll work on anyone. Maybe an hour. Maybe two. Maybe three. 
and then I'll kick you that hard out of my office, you're going to fly like a bird. Okay? I don't want to see your face unless something happened. For example, they gave you Ferrari or Mercedes, put good fuel in it, yes? Not put like diesel or kerosene okay. or sugary water, okay? Change the oil, do the good things, wash it. <laughs> so your car will run for a long, long time, correct? Do it that way. Of course, car accidents happens, yes? Yes. Chemical fumes happens, yes? If that happens, come back. But that's one of the extreme cases. Did you answer your question? Tell your husband and say hi. <laughs> okay? Absolutely. Choking your old saliva, maybe you've been snoring. Usually when people wake up, because they wake up choking, because you are snoring, snoring, then you stop, and you wake up with choking sound. One thing you can do if you remember, because it's the middle of the night, put your hand here and listen to a heart. Is it palpitating really, really fast? It, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you've simply been choking. Okay? And basically, come here, I'll check you. Are you snoring or not? Come here. It's a very easy test. Are you hot, guys? Not yet? Okay, come here. <laughs> Take your watch off. Do you have a cell phone on you? No? No. Wonderful. Have a seat. He's a good one. Do you know how to snore? I, I might. All right. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, push up with your hand. Push up. Now, I want you to snore in. <laughs> no, no. You need to produce the actual snoring sound. Come on, okay. snore in. Okay. Go. Push up, and you're weak. Okay. Okay? So you do have snoring issues. Okay. One more time. Snore in. <laughs> Push up. Keep your hand here. Yes. Now, snore in. Push, and it's weak. Uh, now, okay. do this. Put your hand over there. Okay? okay? <laughs> you're wearing jeans. You're not covering anything. Okay? So, exactly. Now, I need you to snore out. How you do that? Well, try. Pre push up. That one is fine. Okay. When she snores in, she gets weak. Okay? Now, let you, okay, let's check your REM. Close your eyes. With your eyes, look up. Look down to the right, to the left, the other right, the other left. Okay, wonderful. Now, <laughs> now you, when you're going to close your eyes, I want you to roll your eyes really quick, clockwise or counterclockwise, okay. your choice. Close your eyes and roll your eyes really quick. Push, and you have REM problems. So you do have sleeping pattern problems. You do have snoring issue and you have REM issue, which needs to be fixed. I'm not going to do it right now, but it's not very complicated to do. Okay. I understand? Well, if you want to. Okay. okay? I'm not saying that you, oh, you must see me. Okay. No, if you want to. Okay. Okay? Makes sense? Exactly. So it could be the thing. Sit down. One thing about the snoring. Sometimes people become mucusy at night, not during the day. For example, somebody ate something, and it passed the stomach it got to the gut and inflamed the gut already. We have this thing, it's a like sphincter between small and large intestine called iliac sphincter, iliac valve, ICV. ICV opens, you become toxic. And it happens when you sleep, that's how you check. So sometimes you need to stabilize the situation and avoid toxicity at night. Body detoxifies automatically when you're sleeping. Ileocecal valve involved in that. Um, in acupuncture medicine, it goes clockwise. So gallbladder, liver, it usually from 1 o'clock until 2 o'clock at night. 1, 2, 3. Right there. So usually that's where people usually wake up. That's when they usually wake up because the toxic, like, and they wake up. So rumors about your death are highly exaggerated. It's not a big deal, but it needs to be addressed to a degree. Okay?